and welcome. Today we're going to be going over how you can automate the process of organizing your files in your Google Drive based on the file name. So let's go ahead and get started. The first step to any Zenfi flow is to set up the trigger, which is going to be in charge of initiating the workflow process. In this case, since we're using the Google Drive trigger, this means it's going to start the flow whenever a file is added to a specific folder. So to do that, all you have to do is set up a connection to grant Zenfi permission to be able to access your Google Drive and monitor the folder. So just click on this plus button here to create a new connection. You can give it a name, select if it's private or shared, and then just click on authorize. Then you'll be able to click here. This Google Drive icon will allow you to select any folder inside of your Google Drive. In this case, I chose one called Files to be Organized. That way Zenfi knows exactly which files I want to organize into specific folders. Now to be able to decide which folder it belongs to, we're going to be using a switch statement. That way it can decide if it's an NDA, if it's an invoice, if it's a contract, or if it's another type of document. So what this is going to do is it's going to have a default branch. In this case, it's other. So if it's not this one or this one or this one, it's going to automatically go to the other branch. You're able to add more branches if needed, and you can change the name of the default branch. In this case, I put other. So as we can see, each one of these branches has one clause. So if we click on the sliders, we're going to be able to see that when the file name contains NDA, it's going to know it's an NDA. How can you choose the file name? By clicking on this icon here. This is called a token picker. It allows you to enter data from previous steps. The only previous step we have is the trigger. So if we open up this, we're going to be able to see information from the file. In this case, I chose the file name, but you can choose the ID. You can choose the size of the document, who uploaded it, etc. And we're going to repeat the process for each one of these. So in this case, it says when file name contains invoice. And for the contract, it says when file name contains contract. Now, if the file name doesn't contain the words NDA, invoice, or contract, it's going to go to the other branch. Now, as we can see, we have the same action in each one of the branches. This is going to be in charge of moving the file to its specific folder. So the only thing we have to do is open up this action. This is called the move item action. So what you have to do is set up the connection. You're going to let it know which file it's going to be moving. So in this case, again, using the token picker, we would get the ID of the file that initiated the trigger. And then all you have to do is let it know where to move it to. So I created a folder called NDAs. As you can see here, I have all four folders, so it's going to be the same process depending on where I want to move it. So here I'm moving it to the NDAs folder. If I move over to this one, it's moving it to the invoices folder. This one is moving it to the contracts folder. And this one is moving it to the other folder. And this is basically just telling it where to move the file since it already knows what type of file it is. So let's go ahead and test run. So we're going to select a file to start. And I'm going to select this one that says Emily contract. It should move it to the contract folder. As you can see, that folder is empty. So let's go ahead and click start. And here it shows that it has already moved the file. So if we go back to our Google Drive, it has moved the file here. Now let's do another example with an NDA. This is an empty folder as we can see. So again, we're going to do test run, select a file, and I'm going to select the NDA. So we're going to do test run, select a file to start. And since this one has NDA in the title, it should be moving it to the NDAs folder. So let's go ahead and click start. Okay, and it moved it to the NDA folder. If we open up the folder, it's right here. We'll do two more examples, one with the invoices, which this one has invoice in the title as well. And as you can see, it moved it to the invoice folder. Here is the file. Now what happens when the file name doesn't contain any of the words indicated in the branches? It will go to the default branch like mentioned previously. So let's see what happens when we try to move this file. We'll go ahead and select that file, click start. Okay, and as we can see, it moved it to the other folder since it doesn't have the criteria of any of the other branches. And that would be everything. Remember that Zenfi is very customizable, so you can add actions, remove them, make your flow as complex or as simple as you wish. And remember to check out our YouTube channel where you'll be able to find tutorials on different use cases, learn to use different actions, different triggers, and be able to automate as many processes as possible. Thank you so much for watching.